In my last video, I showed you my name inside of this vector equilibrium. Only since then, this has grown, and now it is this big. I'll show you. Let me back up. I added to it, and it became bigger. And it just seems that the vector equilibrium turns into the um, octahedron, which then turns into either a Merkaba or a larger vector equilibrium or a larger octahedron. It's like it morphs or something. It just uh, morphs from one thing to another. And to me, this means that this is a way of showing the growth of something that follows the same geometries and in this case, the geometries are very significant because the vector equilibrium, the starting one, is such a sacred one, representing the structure of the vacuum. The structure, I might say, built around the vacuum. And look inside each of these triangles on the uh, side of this octahedron. You, you can look through the middle and be looking right straight at the very center of this whole uh, this whole geometric figure. And you can go and look through the center this way. Eight different ways. You can look directly undisturbed by wires coming across at that very center. I don't know why, but that seems to be significant to me. And the fact that you have all of the um, planes that the flower of life is demonstrated on. There's, well, the bottom plane, number one. Okay, here's a plane, number two, number three, number four, and number five. And that's just up and down that way. Because when you turn it in the other direction, you've got the other two. Because altogether there's a three levels of planes in the flower of life. As you can see, well, for instance, with this one, there's this level, this level, and this level. And it just gets repeated all through this, and it can be made bigger and bigger until I can imagine if I made it again bigger, I won't be able to get it out that door. And I won't have any living room inside my bedroom here where I keep all this stuff. So, I've got to go smaller, it seems. But, smaller can be done the same way that this goes bigger. Except that I can't do the smaller because it gets too tiny for me to work with it. But the thing is, this is a geometric form that goes and makes the same patterns over and over again. Either expanding as far out as conceivable, or going smaller as far in as conceivable. And I just think it's a very important figure. Here we have, well, what I was going to do was make another vector equilibrium from the very first one of this one. But I kind of got instructed not to do that, but to turn it into something else besides just one great big huge vector equilibrium. And uh, you can see the, fl the flower of life pattern is all through this in three different directions. But it, it ends up with these six ends that are one half of the uh, Merkaba, Merkaba. And uh, it's just very unusual. There are so many different shapes in this, the square and the triangle, of course, and the Merkaba, and the, and the octahedron is in there, and uh, just over and over and over, all these plutonic solid shapes. And, and then, of course, there, it looks this way, it looks kind of like a cross, doesn't it? And I don't, I don't know what to call this one. <laughs> Well, I haven't really named any of these things that I make, but to me it's 
something just marvelous to see what things turn into. And th with this one, I got a little direction. I kept asking my spirit, saying, where should I go next? What should I do next? Because when I start these things, I don't see the end product. I just explore while making it to see what it's going to turn into. What I like about this design is that you can, you know, follow this, this, like this. And it goes into the next one. And then down into the third one. And then it will do it all over again. Kind of like what a figure eight does. Just repeats, repeats, repeats. And then you could even go over the top and do it on this side also. So, and there's three sides like that. There's three here and three here. Reminds me of the number 33. Th three and three. And so, I don't know uh, what the significance of this is. And... I guess it doesn't matter. I just am having fun making these things. And for what purpose, I don't know. That is a big mystery to me. Why I feel so compelled to make these things is beyond me. I just do. And perhaps they're meaningful in some way that I don't know. I, For some reason, I'm making them for some purpose. Though I can't quite figure out what it is. Anyway, this was really fun to make this one.